Hello, my name is Ian Thompson, and I'm a locality manager with South Central Ambulance Service on the Sussex Patient Transport Service. Non-emergency patient transport is the service South Central offer to patients to get them into and out of hospital after treatment or into and out of hospital for any hospital appointments. South Central Ambulance Service have contracts with 17 clinical commissioning groups in Sussex, Surrey, Hampshire, Thames Valley and Milton Keynes. Patient Transport Service employs 878 staff. This includes managers, ambulance care assistants, contact centre staff and logistics staff. We operate out of 41 stations and we have 344 operational vehicles. We are also supported by 183 volunteer car drivers. The Trust also employs hospital liaison officers. These staff are based within all the major acutes within our contracts and they work very closely with all healthcare professionals and patients, ensuring that all expectations of transport are understood and then met. All bookings that the Trust receive are received electronically. These are then processed and then allocated to a resource that's working that day. The crews will pick up their PDA, do their vehicle checks, and then carry on with their day according to each job that is planned to them. Between December 2018 and November 2019, South Central transported just over 590,000 patients. And in that same period, our volunteer car service transported over 85,500 patients. We always welcome feedback from healthcare professionals and patients, and we are very pleased that we receive regular compliments on our service due to the caring nature of all our crews. Hi, my name is Jessica Bovrick, I'm a locality manager for our Surrey Patient Transport contract. Across patient transport operationally and within our contact centres, we have adapted rapidly to the various changes in national guidelines, ensuring that we can meet demand, including transporting patients to attend critical and life-saving treatment across our contracts in a safe manner for both our service users and our staff. Screening questions were introduced to ensure we were capturing crucial information for the safe transport of patients. The pandemic has been a challenging period and during the early stages we had to train all operational staff members in level 2 PPE requirements and we also provide enhanced training to many ambulance care assistants and oxygen therapy. The staff response during the start of the pandemic was of course apprehensive but there were also a number of staff that came forward immediately wishing to assist in any way that they could. We have worked through social distancing guidelines, taking measures to adopt our stations and contact centres, including completing risk assessments and supporting staff who needed to self-isolate. Team leaders have continued to check in on these staff regularly, as well as playing an important part in upholding the social distancing measures the Trust have taken and have provided exemplary support to their team members. Social distancing has also impacted how many patients can be on board a vehicle at any one time. Patients who would normally travel together have now had to travel on their own. And whilst this has been reported to be a positive experience for staff to be able to provide one-on-one -on -one care to patients, it means that our resources are becoming stretched. This period has also been a time for innovation. Systems such as our modelling and capacity have been put into place rapidly to monitor activity and be able to accurately match resources and hours to demand. The hard work that has been put on across all of the areas by all staff coordinating and managing transport for thousands of patients whilst maintaining high morale has been reflected in our performance and patient experience. We have played a pivotal role to support system flow across the acute hospital settings and also work with our colleagues in frontline, SCAS, CCAM and commissioners that we work closely with. Our colleagues in the military have also stood with us and coordinated our PPE stocks and distribution as well as covering shifts on our ambulances and supporting the Silver Command Cell, which each day since February, PTS have provided representation. All of what we have achieved would not have been possible without our staff, our volunteers and offers to help. Hi, my name is Stacey Stewart, Area Manager for Commercial Services South, covering Hampshire, Surrey and Sussex. We recently received our final rating from the Care Quality Commissioning following our inspection earlier in the year. Overall, patient transport was rated good, which covered all of our service areas. The Care Quality Commission visited a number of ambulance stations across the area and spoke to members of the team from the contact centre operation as well as from our patients. The report referenced just how passionate, proud and committed team members were to the Trust and specifically patient transport.
Our report is testament to the hard work, dedication and commitment shown by all staff and volunteers working in our patient transport services. For this, we are overwhelmed by the compassion as we clearly demonstrated that delivering the best possible care for every single patient with kindness, dignity and respect remains at the very heart of what we do. It is a high priority that our staff and vehicles are safe across all of our sites, as well as delivering high standards of cleanliness on vehicles, at premises and with for our equipment. The Care Quality Commission commented on how well our staff worked together to run an effective service, how passionate they were in providing an excellent service to our patients, and they felt respected, supported and valued. Whilst we have demonstrated excellence in many of our areas, including work with our hospital liaison officers, and the contact centre learning and development team, there are areas that we know we need to keep improving to continue on our journey towards excellence. The Care Quality Commission recognised that our staff are committed to continually learning to enhance our service and to deliver actions already identified. And fundamentally, we welcome feedback from patients and healthcare professionals in order to improve and shape our service going forward. Thank you for listening. If you would like to feedback, please contact us via email patient.experience at scas.nhs.uk. Thank you.